Good morning and welcome to the Taz Morning Show. I'm Eva and here are the latest updates from Oman. The Supreme Committee has decided to continue the ban on mass iftar gatherings in mosques and other public places such as tents. In a new set of decisions issued on Tuesday ahead of Ramadan, the committee has also allowed to resume tarawih prayers in mosques for fully vaccinated worshippers. The committee has also said international and local events, exhibitions, conferences and activities of mass nature will continue to be at 70% capacity. Tarawih, the special prayers offered during the holy month of Ramadan, will be allowed to be hosted in mosques in Oman after it was suspended for two years due to the coronavirus pandemic. A decision was issued by His Excellency Abdullah bin Muhammad Al Salmi, the Minister of Religious and Endowment Affairs. The holy month of Ramadan is likely to start in Oman on April 3rd. The 65th meeting of the Board of Directors of the Airports International was held on Sunday, March 28th in Muscat, headed by Sheikh Ayman bin Ahmed Al Hosni, the CEO of Oman Airports, Chairman of the Board of Directors for the current session, and with the participation of 29 CEOs of regional and international airports. The meeting adopted the Council's work plan for the next two years and discussed ways to enhance cooperation between airports and international aviation organizations, and discussed environmental and economic sustainability projects and challenges affecting the airports and civil aviation sectors. A new report said to the American AI Monitor website that efforts have been taken to put public finances in the Sultanate of Oman on a healthy track. Initiatives have been taken to address the chronic public budget deficit which will bear fruit due to the sharp increase of prices in oil, the Sultanate's main export. The three sources in the Sultanate's National Fiscal Balance Program were quoted saying that the financial situation in Oman is very stable and improving, noting that the program is also known as the Tawazun Program and it reports to the Ministry of Finance. Thank you for watching the Taz Morning Show. Follow the Arabian Stories for the latest updates.